Welcome to the Arizona Wildcats show brought to you by Fry's Food Stores. I'm Star Sports Editor Ryan Finley here with John Gold. Johnny, we're going to talk a little Pac-12. We're two weeks into the season. Yeah. We've seen some good things. We've seen some bad. Let's talk about some surprises so far. We start with the good. I think the, the biggest surprise has to be Cal. Mm -hmm. 2-0, mm -hmm. Cal Bears. Who would have pegged that? Uh, Sonny Dyke said all year last year that, man, we were just so ravaged by, ravaged by injuries defensively and we lost so much talent that we couldn't keep up. Mm -hmm. And, you know, maybe he was right. And yeah. that's normally an excuse, but Cal's looking good. Defensively, they're looking good. And I'm, I can't believe that they're 2-0 right now. Well, and don't discount their first win of the season was they went to Northwestern. It's a big win. One on the road. I mean, yeah, Northwestern's not Michigan. It's not Ohio State. But how many teams in the Pac-12 right now can claim that they went on the road and beat a power conference team at their own place? That was a top six win, yeah. you know, for the conference in week one. And, and I think what it shows is, you know, when you lose that much from your game plan in August, okay? They were decimated. Cal was decimated by September last year. Mm -hmm. When you lose that much that you prepared with, and all of a sudden you're, you're kind of starting with a blank slate, everything can kind of fall apart. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if it's so much that Cal, Cal had this giant infusion of talent, but guys are back and they're looking good. Jared Goff, I like him. Yeah. Anytime you're that good as a freshman, you're going to have a pretty good career. I, I agree. Think. Okay. I agree. This is the Arizona Wildcat Show brought to you by Albertsons. Ryan Finley here with John Gold talking Pac-12 football. Johnny, I watched some of this game on Saturday. It was Utah, Fresno State. Wow. I mean, either Fresno State is the worst team I've ever seen or Utah is pretty good. I mean, they hung 60-something points on them. 59, right? 59? I think it was in the 60s. It? Okay. It, he knows better. <laughs> played really well. They have Wilson, their quarterback, back. Yeah. Is this a team that could jump up and surprise some people this year? Well, Utah has always done really well at two things, recruiting the offensive line and defensive line. And anyone who cares about football or, or putting together a team in Madden knows that that's where you start. You yeah. know, I, give, me, give me that as, as a foundation. And, and finally, Utah seems to have the offensive skill talent and more importantly, a new offensive coordinator for the seventh straight year. Mm -hmm. uh, there is, so it's not as if there's any continuity there, but I think Dave Christensen, former Wyoming head coach, who's now their offensive coordinator, has simplified things for Wilson. Uh, yeah, Fresno State is that bad. Mm -hmm. uh, USC demolished them. Mm -hmm. Utah demolished them. That's not to discount what, what Utah has done. Uh, are they for real? They have a good shot at seven, six, seven, maybe totally outside shot at eight wins. Mm -hmm. But but I, what, I, what I find encouraging about Utah is they've, seem to have figured out what ailed them. You know, this offense and has been fixed it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The offense has been atrocious for years. Now it seems a step in the right direction. Very, very briefly here, Johnny. I yeah. never thought I'd say this, but USC has surprised don't, me. Don't make me. <laughs> don't make me. Yeah, USC looks great. I, I mean, I can't I can't believe Sarkeesian, Steve Sarkeesian coming in from Washington has reestablished the swagger. And that's the thing In that, two games. In two games. And you know what? That's the thing that USC always had in abundance was swagger and mm -hmm. under Lane Kiffin for a lot of reasons they, they lost it. Mm -hmm. uh, Ed, Ed O last year got it a little bit back but they seem to fully have it. They're using their freshmen with reckless abandon mm -hmm. and they're tearing it up. That's a dangerous team. That's a national contender. And they're using their athletic director to argue calls oh on the field. Anyway that'll do it for this episode of the Arizona Wildcats show brought to you by Fry's Food Stores. For John Gold, I'm Ryan Finley. See you next time. Try this matchup, low prices and faster checkout. You can count on it at Fry's.